All right, it's time for another team battle, and it's Leona this time. Uh, she hasn't had one in a month, which takes one, I mean months, very long. In fact, this is her second team battle. Which two? The other one was a special one called YouTuber Leona that didn't exactly have anything you know, important happening. It was just a bunch of YouTubers beating up on fans. Anyways, I think my runes and masters are attack damage red, armor yellow, magic resistance blues, and ma attack damage quints. And my masteries were 21-9 or something like that. I wanted to be more offensive since uh, if I wasn't offensive, we may not have a lot of damage given we have Ariana and Trindomir. Trindomir has high damage, but it's not a lot of you know, AOE damage, so I felt we needed more of that slaughter crap. I'm naturally tanking anyways. So, Leona is one of those champions that a lot of people won't feel like they could make a good jungler out of her. But she's got a lot of issues that people just don't want to address. And some people are insanely, insanely adamant about Leona being able to be a good jungler. But she's, she, well, right now actually I want to show you this part. So Lee Sin thinks he was going to invade me. He punches me in the face and I thought maybe he'd go at me. So whatever. But he reveals one thing. He hasn't gotten blue. So that means I can probably catch him at his blue. And what do you know? He's right there. I just stabbed the living crap out of him melee wise. I uh, he he lets me hit him with a W, so now he's pretty goddamn hurt. He finally flashes, but it's enough for me to yeah you know, just flash over him, stun him, and murder him. So I get a double buff here. Anyways, one of the things is Leona combines two of the thing, two of the thing, one of the th two. Ah. Leona combines two things that uh, about junglers. One really good thing, one really bad thing. The good thing. Is that she has a lot of crowd control and her kid is ridiculously powerful just as is. I mean, like a characters like Nautilus who have very powerful kids, like for tanking and stuff. She can initiate, she's got crowd control. That she's got that whole that whole tanking crap going down. However, she combines one of the worst things about junglers too. An, in, an incredible need to snowball. She's a tank jungler that needs to snowball in order to actually succeed in the jungle. Otherwise, she begins to flounder an incredible amount. Unlike other, unlike a uh, lane Leona, if she if she gets destroyed in the jungle, or if she doesn't get ganks, or she gets behind, she will probably be under leveled compared to lane Leona. If she gets counter jungle to Helen back, or she dies during a gank, then she's gonna probably even be less useful than Lane Leona. Lane Leona at least did not have to dump some of her gold into t uh, jungle items, or had to, and did not have to dump. Uh, I mean, have to dump. Did not have to roam around losing experience. So, jungle Leona still doesn't clear the camps well enough. She doesn't clear camps well enough, and unless she gets up, of course. She doesn't clear camps well enough, uh, and if she gets behind, she will pretty much suck ass at clearing. She'll get behind. Uh, she'll get behind so much that every well, if you're noticing right now, she's kind of dominating them and making sh making damn well use of some of the best aspects of Jungle Leona. Her ganking. It's probably one of the. She's probably one of the best gankers in the game, regardless of whether she's jungling or. Support or how for some reason solo lane. Her E goes through minions and will pretty much attach herself to somebody. They're pretty much fucked if she get they get grabbed by the E, and if she's helping out another teammate during the, in the during the gank or I mean she's getting help from a teammate, the damage between them is, you know, thanks to her passive will be immense. So when it comes to ganking, she's probably one of the best. And coincidentally, is as a jungler. Probably one of the best jungle gankers in the fucking game. The only problem is everything else about her jungle is completely terrible. As I said, her sustain speed-wise, health-wise, and mono-wise tends to flounder a lot. Especially if she gets counter-jungled. Once she gets counter-jungled even just a little bit, her ability to clear the jungle plummets to non-existent levels. So yeah. She's a Nautilus in term Nautilus Jani in terms of you know crowd control and stuff, but she is a Shaco in the need of needing to keep up in levels and gold, not exactly gold but more in levels. She cannot get behind in levels. You could buy whatever the hell you want on her and she'll still be effective, but again you need to keep up in levels and you need to keep up. Uh, I guess in. Well, as a jungler, you need your sustain items in order to clear. So, yeah, you probably need some minor items. 
But the uh, the items I invested in were boots of mobility and a spirit stone because the sustain from spirit stone is great and it helps the, the crappy clearing power she has. And boots of mobility lets me sodomize people a lot quicker. Though I'm building actual actually a D with her on this time or this time around. Brutalizer for the cooldown reduction and the damage, and then eventually building Blair the Rune King just because I really didn't know what else to buy build on her for offense. After that, after I was investing more into Blade of the Rune King, I started regretting that, knowing that I didn't have the ability to fully invest into, well, fully, fully bring out the investment, uh, the, the worth of the investment in the Blade of the Rune King. If it was up to me, I probably would have, right now, changed it more to uh, the Glacial Shroud into the Frozen Fist thingy, a Sheen, or a Trinity Force, in fact. Either way, as you can see, the game is going by kind of weird, strangely. I'm getting fed. I'm getting Sir the Oriana fed, but my bottom lane isn't doing so well. The Trindomir, uh, he's a, he's kind of they kind of let him free farm all, all day. The enemy team isn't farming that well, and I'm kind of dominating them in the jungle. So, but that's not good. I, I may be a jungler, and I may maybe playing Leona as sort of carry s tank thing that she really can't carry. It is inevitably a waste of gold to get it all on top of me. Boom. There goes Corky, and then in comes Shen, and then the teammates stick a little, stay a little too long, and the Shen comes in and kills the Oriana, and then it kills the Jinx, and then they'll pretty much kill me and the Thresh. So we just died for people right there, allowing the enemy team to essentially come back, which is not a good thing. The kills were all pretty much spread evenly amongst them, and they got themselves some support gold too. So the gap between us and team gold wise is very narrow now. That said, that said, one of the other bigger issues with Leona is she really can't carry by herself. I mean, sure, Nautilus and Sejani can't really do so either, but Leona just real her damage really just comes from her teammates procking her passive and you know procking her passive and stuff. Nautilus and Sejani at least have a lot of damage innately ingrained to them, and it's AOE damage as well. Also, Mumu, I mean, if we're counting all the essential clones, like Mumu, so, uh, well, Sejuani, Nautilus, we also have to count a Mumu. If a Mumu is going to be compared to Sejuani and Nautilus, she should be compared to a Mumu as well. And when compared to a Mumu, holy crap, did they all lose out to him, especially Leona. Leona's damage is nowhere near a Mumu's. So, we slaughter them a little bit, but they get out, you know, they survive with just a little bit of health. Then out of nowhere, Leeson comes in, kills me. Traps the Thresh, well, sort of, misses his Q. The Oriana sticks didn't flash like before the enemy team could catch her. She just kind of flashed until they finally were on top of her. So that's just kind of proceeding to die pointlessly. Either way, my team can win. We have the better team comp. Well, actually, no, well, well, sort of. With a better team come with Oriana and Leona, just go in, explode them all, and then just pick them all off. However, the team is kind of running around half the time with, uh, you know, like as headless chickens. So I'm just wondering, what the hell? Why why don't we finish this off? My team gets it keeps getting picked off. So even with my orders, I'm not being listened to. So, anyways, my adv the advantages I had early for my team are no longer relevant and my item build is no longer working for me i'm actually having regrets that it would have been better to have gone more tanky if my team was still snowballing the offensive build would have been better but as i've said before in other videos offensive builds in the jungle are only really good if you're ahead here comes another team fight. Run right in, Oriana ultimate, and then Leona ultimate on top of them but unfortunately it didn't stop uh katarina in uh, and she Blew her ult and kind of chunked the hell out of our health. Or at least a few of us. We wiped him out though. Trindomir doesn't change on to the Lee Sin on time. So he doesn't die quick enough. But he still at least will die to Thresh. Thresh got two kills from that. Which he kind of should have. And then he should have gone to Trindomir. But it's okay. Now we ran this tower useless. And I ask only, you know. I'm telling my team to scatter now. Because we're pretty much all fucked up. We get a blue turret. Okay, I get the Blade of the Rune King. This is the item I really, really regretted purchasing. It would have been much better for me. Hell, it would have been better for me to buy a Stark's Fervor if, if I was insisting on buying offense for Leona at this point. Because my teammates would do far more damage than I would. 
And the Starks River would help us all out. Well, still actually helping me do something. So it was kind of a terrible purchase. Uh, as I said, I probably would have preferred the Frozen Fist thingy. Bro, the Gauntlet of the Iceborne or whatever it's called. I don't quite remember. That item or even a Shirelia's Reverie. It's certainly not offense. Because my team, once they realized that, you know, we're kind of fucking around, I should have just kept the Brutalizer and switched off from there. We can't just Shan by him lonesome self, so he has absolutely no way to escape. And if he wanted to use his ultimate to escape, he knows pretty much everybody on my team could stop it. So he's going to try, he's going to bother. With Shan's death, I'm hoping, you know, we push something else. We catch the enemy team in their jungle. We don't actually manage to kill any of them because the team kind of scattered the farm top lane instead of trying to help us engage. So they escape, but by they had to burn a lot of summoners, and they had to burn. I mean, they had to burn a few summoners, and they had to burn their ultimates. So I asked my team, you know, we probably should have done Baron, but they kind of scattered again. So we're kind of still running around like headless chicken. I buy myself uh, the Kindle Gem. I believe the item I was looking to build out of this was a Shirelia's. Because, you know, we, we got to either kite the enemy team or we got to just engage on them hard. Pretty fucking brutally hard. Thankfully, you know, thankfully the, what's his face, Thresh built in ages. So I didn't have to purchase it myself. Right now we're just ward clearing. Going around doing, you know. Try to blind the enemy team because it's gonna come down to who has Baron. Both teams can wipe out the other team if something if they if they do something poorly. In my case, if we don't CC the Katarina, despite the fact that we have an abundance of crowd control. And there in uh and there in our case of winning, we just have to kill Katarina and or Corky, preferably Corky, because I always find them a bigger threat than pretty much anybody, uh, in this current patch. Once more, they're clearing our wards. We're trying to catch them. We're gonna have to do another, another, you know, load of ward clearing here. It's reached that point where nothing is happening. We, and there is Lee Sin. Catch it with my E. I go right in. Of course, he blinks out with his. Uh, I forgot what it is, but it is W. We pretty much put all our AOE on top of the enemy team and essentially slaughter them. Thresh misses his ultimate though, but it doesn't matter. We kill. We wipe the Corky. We kill the Nami. I, we're gonna catch the Shan. I believe no. He's gonna actually escape. Uh, the, he dashes up with from the E. We try to kill him. However, he gets off with a little bit of health after using Random and Zoman. We take ourselves an inhibitor, and the Jinx chases off the Lee Sin for whatever reason instead of helping us push the towers. So, we're. I'm just like asking, let's push unrelentlessly. Do not focus the enemy champions. Ignore them at all costs. If we die here, we'll lose Baron and probably a couple towers, but we won't lose the game. I'm minion blocked and tower blocked, and I just can't attack the guy in tower. If we only had like an auto-attacking ranged AD, this thing would have gotten quickly. The enemy team shows up and starts slaughtering us, and I barely get the goddamn Nexus. We win, or Rihanna got it, we win barely. Hooray for Leona.